Alrighty guys, so today I want to talk a little bit about polishing washers and uh, why it's a really, really bad idea. So, a lot of times, myself included, um, you know, we'll get a knife, maybe it's brand new, maybe it's used, and we'll uh, flick it open a few times, play with the action, and it's not going to be quite where we want it. And then we'll say to ourselves, like, oh, okay, I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to take it apart, so, um, sand down the washers, sand down the liners, maybe even work a little bit on the blade area where the washers come in contact, and then it'll be that that super nice, that super nice drop shutty action, right? Well, yeah, that could happen, um, but I can tell you that more often than not. That's not what's going to happen. And if you're trying to improve your action, you know, you're, you're thinking you got the right mindset in terms of uh, making adjustments to the pivot, because that's one of the first places where you want to go. But it is a uh, to polish down your washers and your liners is a really, really uh, high risk, low reward scenario, because best case scenario, what happens? OK, you reduce a little tiny bit of friction. OK, you reduce just a little bit of, you know, just a very small amount. And that's really not going to make that big of a difference in terms of your action. Okay, what's what's the worst case scenario? What's the worst thing that could happen? Well, the worst thing that could happen is that you could take off too much material. And then you would be completely screwed, completely fucked, because you're not going to get that material back. But you're going to try to compensate um, for getting it back, because you're going to have blade blade, and you're going to try to tune that out by, if these are the two, if these are two liners, like from the top view, like right there like that, you're going to try to tune it out. So by pinching your front. So like if this represents the blade and if these two things are the liners right here, this is where we're snug, everything's straight, good to go. Right. But then you polish down your washers and then now you have all this space, right? You're going to have all this blade play. You're going to try to comp, you're not going to, you're going to try to compensate for that basically by pinching down your stop in pinching down your washers, everything else is going to be fucked. Your lockup is going to feel strange and the knife is never going to be back to the way that it was. And you're just going to be, you know, pretty much running around in circles, driving yourself mad because you removed too much material. And I just want to show you guys how easy it is to remove too much material. So again, this guy, take a little bit of measurement. He is 0.5 millimeters. Um, I really don't like using inches. Okay, 19.5, 19.5, 0.5.5. Okay, so a lot of times people will just automatically, so I have um, some thousand grit sandpaper here, right? Take one of these washers and they'll just literally just blast them on these, on these, um, with this sandpaper. They'll just usually just go back and forth, up and down, whatever. They're not going to be flat. They'll be holding it like this and they'll just keep going and going and going and And like a lot of times they'll look at it and they'll be like, okay, man, well, there's this ring around there where I've sanded some area and I haven't sanded another area. Why is that? Oh, maybe I just need to keep sanding. Okay, so they'll just keep sanding, keep sanding. And they're not really going to know that why they're doing that. They're actually removing a shit ton of material. So let's go back and measure this, right? Okay, we'll put it back on millimeters. Right, so we've lost, we've lost a little bit. We've lost a little bit, okay? So, now granted, it's not much, but at the same time, it's not much when we talk about tolerances within our knives with the type of action that we expect to get. We expect that, you know, that real drop shutty action with absolutely no blade play. And uh, so this guy is a knife that I've been working on a lot recently. He's not quite drop shut. Oh, he is, but the um, blade play isn't exactly where I want it. Still got just a tiny, tiny little bit. But then this guy, I just got earlier this week. Haven't touched it, haven't modified it. Completely 100% new in stock. And look at this, it's got absolutely zero blade play. Like that blade, nowhere, absolutely nothing. And it's still dropped shut. Like it hasn't even fully broken in yet. Now, granted, they are two very different knives. There's a little bit more uh, weight in the top of this PM2, whatever. But the point is that the kind of performance that we're expecting and trying to get out of these knives, you know, we're talking like, you know, 
tenths of a millimeter, fractions, fractions of an inch here. So the last thing you want to do is to go and remove material from the pivot because you're not, you're not going to get it back. But if you absolutely must and you absolutely have to because you're like me and we're OCD and we like to fuck with things and we just can't leave anything alone, there's a right way to do it and that's with a strop, okay? You literally want to take your green compound, do a couple of passes in circles, flip it, a couple of passes in circles, flip it, put it on the... Uh, other side, flip it, put it on there, and look. It's relatively shiny. Relatively, um, there will be less friction. And if we go back and measure it, see, we're good to go. And that's, um, that's really about all you need.